Crazy coincidences that you will not believe are true. Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy lived eerily similar lives. Both were elected to Congress in the year 46 and then to presidency in the year 60. Both got married in their 30s to women who were in their 20s. Both lost a son while at the White House, with each son having 21 letters in their full name with seven letters in each word. Both presidents were shot in the head on a Friday by Southerners in the presence of their wives, Lincoln in a Ford theater, Kennedy in a Ford car. Both assassins were known for their full three-word name and each had 15 letters in their names. The presidents that followed both of them were Southerners with the last name Johnson, born in the year 08. Almost 40 years ago now, the world was in shock when a 17-year-old boy was knocked off his moped and killed by a taxi. The reason why everyone was shocked was because almost exactly one year prior, his at the time, also 17 year old brother, was killed on the same street by a taxi on the exact same moped. You're probably thinking, okay, mopeds are dangerous and maybe they were driving recklessly and maybe they lived in the same place so the same street would be likely. Well, it gets even weirder. The taxi that hit the second brother was the same taxi that hit the first brother. The taxi driver that hit the second brother was the same taxi driver as well. The taxi driver was carrying the same passenger as the first incident. This nurse found out that her colleague was a premature baby that she had cared for 28 years earlier. These two dogs, one with each eye, found each other one day in the store. This dude was randomly in his future wife's family picture seven years before they met. A married couple discovered that they had appeared in the same photo as teenagers. A woman injured her chin at dinner and then opened her fortune cookie and read, Time heals all wounds. Keep your chin up. This was an Uber driver with his passenger and they look almost identical. A pigeon pooped a portrait of itself on a leaf. Two different women reported that somebody else had their social security number, but in reality, they were given the same social security number. This was because they had the same full name, the same birthday, and their fathers had the same name. But wait, it gets weirder. They both married military men in the same year, had two children the exact same ages. They both worked as bookkeepers, had interests in oil painting, and studied cosmetics. While on a college tour, a family was discussing the Solo Star Wars movie and their thoughts on it. Then suddenly they noticed that Harrison Ford was on their tour as well. A woman's friends were searching for her on Twitter by her full name, Morgan Knight. They all ended up following a different Morgan Knight that looked exactly like her. A woman bought wine gums, which made her think of her ex from over 10 years ago because it was his favorite candy. Later that day, she decided to Google him. His funeral was happening that same day. In 2002, a pair of 70-year-old twins died on the same day. Both men were struck and killed by trucks while riding their bicycles on the exact same stretch of road about a mile apart from each other within a span of two hours. The second twin to die had no knowledge of the first twin dying before he set out on his bike. A woman moved to a big city and met her boyfriend while working at a hotel. Early in the relationship, they were talking about where they lived and the woman brought up the road she lived on. The boyfriend said he had just moved from that road. It turns out her boyfriend lived in the exact same bedroom in the exact same house before she did. A church exploded in a small Nebraska town on March 1st, 1950 at 7.25 p.m. At this church, there happened to be 15 members in a choir that always showed up at 7.20 p.m. every week. All 15 members were late for personal reasons and were nowhere near the church. A woman and her friend were pulling up to the Taco Bell drive-thru when they almost hit a guy on his bike. He flipped over his handlebars but he got up quickly and they were funneled into the drive through so fast that there was no moment of, hey, are you okay? Fast forward years later, the woman and her friend are now married and they are both hanging out with the woman's husband who started telling a story about how he was riding his bike to his cousin's house and then he flipped over his handlebars after almost getting hit by a car. The woman's friend jokingly said, oh, was it in front of a Taco Bell? To which the woman's husband replied, yeah, it actually was right in front of Taco Bell. A woman was somewhat drunk on her way to a Halloween party when all of a sudden a fight broke out and she got stabbed. She didn't realize that she had gotten stabbed until a guy at the party told her that they could see her muscle sticking out of her side and that she should call 911. A couple years later she went to go get a tattoo of a knife under the scar where she got stabbed. She realized after she was sitting down with a tattoo artist for a minute that it was the same guy who told her to call 911 at the party. This man was struck by lightning seven times in his life and he survived all of them. 
Roy Sullivan was a park ranger in Virginia who still holds the Guinness World Record for being struck by lightning more than any other human on Earth. This dude was hit all over the place, in his front yard, outside of his lookout tower, and even one time in his pickup truck, a lightning strike hit a nearby tree and it deflected into his open window, searing his arm and knocking him unconscious. One time while he was fishing, lightning struck directly on top of his head, setting his hair, eyebrows, and eyelashes on fire. And apparently shortly after this moment, he had to strike a bear with a stick because it was approaching the pond trying to take the trout off his fishing line. Sullivan struggled later in life, mentioning that most people did not want to be around him because he was notorious for being struck by lightning, and he also mentioned that he at multiple times felt like clouds were following him and he couldn't get away. He kept a bucket of water in his pickup truck at all times just to make sure he was always prepared. His death, however, was actually caused by a gunshot, not a lightning strike. Follow for more.